the egg. It is one of nature's most perfect creations, a self-contained life support system, a vessel for the next generation. For most of us, the image that comes to mind is the simple, familiar chicken egg. But this is just one page in a vast and bizarre library of evolutionary design. In the wild, eggs take on forms that defy expectation. They can be jewels, alien pods, or weapons of deception. They are shaped not by chance, but by the brutal pressures of survival. Today, we are counting down the 10 weirdest animal eggs in the world, each one a masterpiece of strangeness. Coming in at number 10, the Emu EG. Found in the grasslands of Australia, this egg looks less like it came from a bird and more like a giant dark green avocado from another planet. It is enormous, weighing up to one and a half pounds, with a thick, multi-layered shell. The outer layer is a deep, textured green-black, but beneath it lie layers of turquoise and, finally, white. The egg's strangest feature is its caretaker. After the female lays her clutch, she leaves. It is the father who takes over, incubating the eggs for nearly two months. During this entire time, he does not eat, drink, or leave the nest, a stunning act of paternal devotion. At number nine is the egg of the American robin. Its iconic sky blue color is not just for beauty. It is a sophisticated survival tool. The pigment that creates this color, called biliverdin, serves multiple functions. It acts as a natural sunscreen, shielding the delicate embryo inside from harmful ultraviolet radiation. The intensity of the blue also serves as a health indicator. A brighter, more vibrant blue signals to the male that the female is strong and well-fed, encouraging him to invest more effort in helping raise the young. It is a color that is both a shield and a signal, a beautiful solution to the challenges of life. Number eight on our list is the cuckoo egg. On its own, the egg appears unremarkable, but its purpose is sinister. The cuckoo is a master of deception, a brood parasite. The female cuckoo does not build her own nest. Instead, she finds the nest of another, smaller, cuckoo egg. The cuckoo targets a host bird species and in a matter of seconds, removes one of the host's eggs and lays her own in its place. Over generations, cuckoo eggs have evolved to perfectly mimic the eggs of their chosen host in size, color, and pattern. The unsuspecting host bird raises the cuckoo chick as its own, even after the newly hatched imposter has pushed the real eggs and chicks out of the nest to monopolize the food supply. This egg is a weapon of infiltration. At number seven, we dive beneath the waves to find the shark egg. For many shark species, birth is not a live event. Instead, the female lays a tough, leathery egg case, often called the mermaid's purse. These are not brittle shells, but bizarre, alien-looking pods. The horn shark lays a... Shark eggs include a dark corkscrew-shaped egg designed to be wedged into crevices for safety. Known as the mermaid's purse, skates and some sharks produce rectangular purses with long tendrils at the corners that wrap around seaweed, anchoring them to the sea floor. For months, the tiny shark embryo develops inside, visible through the translucent casing, until it is ready to emerge. The empty cases that wash ashore are a ghostly reminder of the strange life cycles hidden in the deep. For number six, we return to the rainforests of New Guinea and Australia to find the egg of the cassowary. This egg looks like a relic from the age of dinosaurs. It is huge, brilliantly colored, and has a texture unlike any other bird egg. Its shell is a vibrant green, providing the perfect camouflage among the moss and fallen leaves. On the dense forest floor, the eggshell is not smooth, but granular and bumpy as if carved from stone. It is the third largest bird egg in the world, and much like the emu, its incubation is a job left entirely to the father. 
he guards his prehistoric-looking clutch with a famously aggressive demeanor. Number five is an egg that breaks one of the fundamental rules of biology, the platypus egg. The platypus is a mammal, a warm-blooded, fur-covered creature that produces milk. But it does not give live birth. Instead, it lays eggs. These are not the hard, brittle eggs of a bird, but small, round, and soft-shelled, more like the eggs of a reptile. The female lays one to three of these leathery eggs in a deep riverside burrow. She then... She incubates them not just with the heat of the burrow, but by curling her warm body around them. A strange and ancient link between the age of reptiles and the age of mammals. At number four is the octopus egg. Octopuses do not lay single, robust eggs. Instead, the female produces thousands of tiny, translucent eggs that she weaves together into long strings called festoons. These strings, which look like ghostly bunches of grapes, are carefully attached to the roof of a rocky den. What makes these eggs truly strange is the sacrifice they represent. The mother octopus will guard her clutch for months, sometimes over a year. She never leaves them, not even to hunt. She gently blows currents of water over them to keep them clean and oxygenated and fends. She wards off any potential predators. She starves herself, and shortly after her young finally hatch, her duty done, she dies. Number three is the Tinamu egg. Found in Central and South America, the eggs of the Tinamu are so vibrant and glossy they look completely artificial. They appear to be made of brightly colored, polished porcelain or glass. They come in a shocking variety of colors, from deep chocolate brown and vibrant olive green to a brilliant turquoise blue. The incredible gloss is not a coating, but is created by a unique nanostructure in the shell's surface that reflects light almost perfectly. The bright colors may serve as a signal to other females that a nest is already occupied, or perhaps they help the male, who does all the incubation, find his way. Back to the clutch in the dim forest light. Our runner-up, at number two, is the emperor penguin egg. The egg itself is fairly standard in shape. The weirdness is not in the egg. It is in the unbelievable trial it must endure. There is no nest of twigs or leaves. The single egg is laid directly onto the Antarctic ice in the heart of the polar winter, in temperatures that can plummet to 70 degrees below zero. As soon as the egg is laid, the male takes over. He carefully rolls it onto his feet and covers it with a thick fold of feathered skin called a brood pouch. For the next two months, through blinding blizzards and unimaginable cold, he will stand, balancing that single egg, never letting it touch the ice for even a second, for that would mean instant death for the embryo. And finally, at number one, the weirdest egg of all belongs to the Suriname toad. This creature has a reproductive strategy that seems born from a nightmare. The eggs are not laid in water, or in a nest, or even on the ground. During mating, the male fertilizes the eggs and then carefully presses them onto the female's back. Over the next few days, a bizarre transformation occurs. The skin on her back swells and grows up and around each individual egg, completely enclosing them. Her back becomes a living, honeycomb-like incubator. The young do not hatch as tadpoles into the water. They go through their entire larval stage inside the egg, under their mother's skin. When they are ready, they emerge not as tadpoles, but as fully formed, miniature toads, pushing. The young make their way out of the holes in her back. It is a method of birth so strange, it has to be seen to be believed. From the glossy jewels of the Tinamu to the skin, hatching horror of the Suriname toad, the world of eggs is far more complex and bizarre than most imagine. Each strange color, leathery shell, 
and extreme survival strategy is a perfect evolutionary solution to the endless problem of creating new life in a dangerous world.